Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be trying out some things that we've never tried in our lives. We actually had to Google a lot of these uh, words because we didn't know what they were, right? So anyway, uh, we have to say thank you to Stephanie for sending these to us. Thank you, Stephanie. You're so, so kind and so generous. Thank you. So everything we're trying today is from Australia. And um, a lot of these are spices, herbs that are very foreign to us. We also have some jams and lots of food. We even have bread, mm -hmm. Australian bread. Most of today's food is native Australian food. Yeah, I think all of these are. Yeah, and before we begin, uh, she also sent us a couple of gifts in here. Really, really pretty. So here, this is by Jijaka Australia, and this is a really nice purse. Jijaka is an Aboriginal word meaning kangaroo, and um, this is an authentic Aboriginal art. And also, Jijaka set of four dessert forks. This is stainless steel with porcelain handles, so they are quite nice. And sales of these items go directly to uh, Aboriginal artists. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. Yeah, that's, nice. That's I like this design. Me yeah. too. I like this art. Yeah. Mm. I think we can use this um, for something. You know, we, we always need like little bags and purses because we have gadgets, we have uh, money <laughs> that we have to separate. We have so many things. So that's perfect. Thank you, Stephanie. We have a lavash. Should we lavash? start with the lavash? Okay, let's start from lavash. Okay, so it's the Tuckaroo Pepper Leaf and Parmesan Wild Lavash. So it says pepper leaf is a native plant or native spice. Yeah. Thin bread. Yes. Now, you, you've never really tried lavash before, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know well about the lavash. Yeah, I, I used to have lavash when I lived in Hawaii. They used to serve it at fancy restaurants back in the day. So let's try these um, by themselves first. Mm. So let the feast begin. Itadakimasu. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can taste the Parmesan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Parmesan. Oh, that's that's right. Parmesan, yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. And the pepper, I guess the pepper leaf is very mild. I was expecting it to be peppery, but it's more like herby to me than peppery. Mm. What do you think? Mm. Mm. It's delicious for mm. me. Mm. It's very rustic flavor. Mm -hmm. It's a rustic bread. Rustic mm. bread. Mm. But it's unknown flavor. Unknown flavor. <laughs> for me, it's unknown flavor. For really? Me. You know, I think these would be great with some of the jam and things that we have today. Mm -hmm. What should we go for next? Okay, so we let's are eating lavash. Yep. So, let's try the bread. The bread, okay. Mm -hmm. So this is the, also from Takaru, mm -hmm. same company. And this is the bush bread damper mix with desert wattle seed. Just mix these flour yeah. and one can of beer mm -hmm. and just mix and bake. Anyway, this is supposed to be quite nutritious and high in protein because it's the, uh, they crush up the seeds to make a seed flour. So, so let's try it. That's what I is first. Yeah, the outside is very crusty. Yes, and very crusty. Like, yeah, and I see like black specks. I guess that's the wattle mm -hmm. seed. The inside oh, is still moist. I don't know if it is good or not. No, it should be fine. It should be fine. Hmm. <laughs> Mmm, mm. I like that. I like how crusty it is on the mm. outside. The mm. soft, the inside is soft and fluffy. Mm. Mm -hmm. is it, the flavor is like rye bread. Yeah, kind of like rye bread. Mm. A little bit, like a subtle rye bread. Mm. And I also like the little peppery herbiness from the water seed. Yes, something roasted seed flavor. It's a water 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 seed. Water seed. <laughs> Wattle seed. What's it's something seed. we don't have here. We don't have. Yeah, yeah. Actually, a lot of the things that we're gonna try today, we don't have here in Japan. Okay, so let's try some of the spices. Spices pairing with these breads. Yes. It's native bush daka. This is from Native Superfoods. That's the name of the company. Actually, she sent us a whole uh, gift pack. It includes this and three other items in like one pack. So this particular daka includes fennel seeds, bush tomato, dried mint, linseed, almonds, sunflower kernels, macadamia nuts, pistachio kernels, sesame seeds, coriander, lemon myrtle, native pepper, and pink sea salt. Wow. 
Eleven ingredients. Wow, I think so that many. was in eleven. Yeah. Mm. Before we do anything, do you mind if we just try the dakka by itself? Okay. Never tried dakka before. I can see a variety of ingredients. Mm, nutty. Hmm. Wow. Mm. Wow. That is super flavorful. It's very complex. Mm. Uh, B. Complex yet um simple ingredients because it's just a blend mm. of. You know, eleven items, yeah. including nuts mm. and seeds. Mm. I, I I see the sesame seeds. I can see the sesame seeds, mm. but I cannot say this is the the flavor. <laughs> right, 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 right. This it, kind it's of flavor. hard for us see. to describe mm. this. Mm. Okay, so the way you eat dakka traditionally, it says on the website, is to dip the bread in olive oil. Okay, and then dip it into the dakka. Okay, mm. I I can already tell you that this is going to be good because. Bread is good. This dukkah is kind of fabulous. Mm. 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 That's good. Mm. You know, the dukkah adds mm. flavor, a complex flavor. Abi and nutty. Mm. Mm. Very complex. <laughs> yeah. You know, I think this dukkah would even improve mediocre bread. You know, if if you if you dip the mediocre bread in the oil and this dakka with the eleven different seeds and spices, mmm, that is wonderful. Mmm, okay. We have another dakka. We mm, sure do. So this is creative native salt bush dakka. Yeah, we actually have two items from a company called Creative Native. Creative Native. Yeah, salt bush is a native leaf of Australia. Mm -hmm. It has a little bit of salt taste. Mm -hmm. It's very mysterious for me. Salt, yeah, a salty, salty plant. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> I can't get enough of this. So good. Okay. Okay. This is it. Okay. So it looks very similar to the native mm -hmm. bush taka. Mm -hmm. So let's try it as it is. First. Okay. Hmm. Mm. This one. Is, wow. Has a. a they're using spices some cumin. Cumin. I taste yeah. cumin. Mm. Reminds me of like the spices in curry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's delicious, even mm. on its own. Delicious. It's mm. delicious. This would be good in like curry when we're making curry. I think so. Great for like salad dressings, mm. fish. Could go with a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. Put olive oil. This is exciting. <laughs> and <laughs> this is fun. Dakka. Oh my gosh. How is it? Oh, this looks amazing. Mm, mm, Wait to mm, put this in my mouth. Mm. Mm. Wow. It's very flavorful. I've been missing out. I didn't even know what dakka was before today. Mm. So, please try with mediocre bread. Oh, okay. A baguette that we bought from the Just local bakery. Local supermarket. Well, it's not mediocre. This is a good bakery. Really? No, it's a good, pretty good bakery, I think. Mmm. Huh. That is so good. Mmm. Mm. Mm. It's even good with a baguette. Noisy, mm. yeah. Mm. Noisy. Not mm. simple olive oil mm. flavor. This dakka gives a good, what shall I say, spiciness or herb. Just lots of flavor. Lots of flavor, yes. Sesame seeds, mm. nuts, mm. The, the cumin, and the other spices that I have no idea what's in it, but delicious. Delicious. Super big fan of dakka now. So this one is from bushtuckershop.com, Kurajan Australian Native Foods, and this is a bush tomato a kajura. Tomato? Yeah, it says uh, bush tomatoes grow on the red sand hills in the Simpson Desert. The tomatoes are collected by the Akatjura Aboriginal tribe east of Alice Springs in the Northern Territory. All right, there's no ingredient list, so let's just give it a try, shall we? They do have an ingredient list on their website, though. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, right, right. We gotta try it as is first. Sweet and sweet sour. Yeah. It's like a fruit. 
sweet and sour. I also taste a little bit of bitterness. bitterness yes, bitterness. Yeah, it's quite bitter.、Mm. Quite bitter, but also sweet.、Mm. I wonder if this is the taste of the tomato. The bush、ね、tomato.、Mm. Tomato y taste.、ね、yeah, so yeah, but there must be other spices in here as well. Okay, so it says to eat it the same way, so we can eat it like a daka. Okay, so we're gonna dip it into the oil and then we're gonna dunk it. Give this one a try. I like this way.、Mm. It smells good too. Mmm. I, is... I can taste the tomato now. Yes. This is interesting. Mm. It's a variety of flavors, not only tomato,、Mm-mm. it has sweetness, bitterness,、mm. and of course, it is tomato y tanginess. Yeah, it's funny because I can taste the tomato more with the olive oil. That's right. Yeah,、mm. the olive oil brings out the flavor of the tomato.、Mm. That's interesting. Very, very interesting. Next one is a bush tomato seasoning from the same company.、Mm-hmm. They use a variety of Herbs, I、mm-hmm. think. Yep. And、uh, they're using the same bush tomatoes、mm-hmm. as the, the other one.、Mm-hmm. But this one, because it's called the bush tomato seasoning, I have a feeling this one is going to be even more complex. By the looks of it, it looks like there's a lot more spices and stuff in this one. Mmm. 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 Its content is salted. Mmm. Mmm. I、oh, like that one.、Oh. Mm. Mm. It's a very good seasoning. Yum!、Mm. This would be really good on other things as well because it's saltier than the bush tomato akajura,、so, which wasn't too salty. I read、mm. it is good for steak、mm. too. Steak, really? Steak. I bought it. Roast, po- roast beef. Ah, okay. <laughs> Not steak, but roast、mm, beef. Exciting.、Mm. I think it's going to be good. So, we're going like, to sprinkle some on the top? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It has a nice、um, saltiness to it. Yeah, it、mm. matches with the beef meat. It really does.、Mm. Sorry, I,、oh, I, see. I need to have another、oh. one.、Mm. Now, after five bites,、yeah. the food flavor、mm. blended in my mouth and it's really nice. It's、yeah, my it's mariage. <laughs> yeah, it's m a r i a g e m a r i a g e Delicious. Oh, you see. Oh, she, yeah.、Mm. Now, the next one, I like to try this because you meant you、uh, brought out the beef.、Uh-huh. And this one seems like it will match beef as well. This is the Wild Hibiscus Flower Pyramid Salt Flakes,、um, also from the same company. It's a blend of pure dried hibiscus flowers and delicate Australian pyramid salt flakes. This looks like Japanese shiso, yukari. Kind of does, yeah. Very interesting.、Mm. <laughs> mm. mm-hmm. 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 Very nice salt,、mm. I have to say.、Mm. The salt、mm. has a very natural sweetness,、mm. no bitterness.、Mm. It gives a very nice depth. It brings、oh. out the flavor of the meat, don't、mm. you think? Yeah, I think. It will be what I said. The beef flavor <laughs> changed completely. Yeah.、Mm. You want to just try this by itself? I, I kind of, I'm very curious to see what this tastes like on its own. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm. It's interesting. Interesting. Yeah.、Mm. It's not just salt taste,、mm. it's really the hibiscus. Yeah, hibiscus. It's from the hibiscus.、Mm-hmm. It's from the hibiscus. Hibiscus flower, I think, is a little sour. Because I have the hibiscus tea at Starbucks、ah, and it's very sour. That's right. That's、yeah. right. That's right.、Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it is a little bit like perilla leaf, maybe. Yeah, or ume. Okay, the, the next one is by Creative Native again. And this is caramelized bush tomato balsamic. And this one looks like you can use it for a variety of things. But I think uh, since uh, we feel like eating salad right now, how about we pour some on the salad? Okay. Smells good. Mmm! Mm-hmm. Wow! Very surprised that the sweetness that comes first. That's the first thing I taste. Sweet onions? What is it? No, tomato. Sorry, sorry, tomato. It's caramelized. Caramelized, caramelized bush tomato. Bush tomato balsamic. Yeah, that is a very unique、mm. and incredible flavor. This one is totally different from the 
the image of balsamic. Yeah, it's, which it's, I we usually use. Yeah, it's not sour at all.、Mm. It's more it's sweet, sweet, but a natural sweetness,、mm. like natural sweetness of sweet tomatoes.、Mm. Very, very delicious. I also like that caramelized flavor. Do you mind if I try some of that、um, hibiscus? Yes, yes, yes.、Um, yes, yes.、Uh, pyramid salt、mm-hmm. flake on top.、Mm-hmm. You know, we'll, we'll combine it with the,、uh, the bush tomato balsamic. Yeah, I thought, I, I thought it might go well because the balsamic isn't very salty.、Mm-hmm. So this、mm-hmm. adds a little bit more salty flavor.、Mm-hmm. It's a perfect match. What do you think? I think it's a perfect match. Very fushigi for me. <laughs> very、flavor. weird. No, 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 not weird. It's、mm. mysterious. Mysterious.、Mm. Um, sweet,、mm. sour,、mm. little bit grapey, but it's not grapey. Yeah, like fruity. Fruity. The, that's tomato, I think. Natural saltiness,、mm. natural sweetness. I know.、Mm. I, I, I like how complex it is. Very complex. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so interesting to us. Now, another way I like to try this、uh, balsamic is with firm tofu. Interesting. Yeah. I, I think it'll go well with tofu. I just have this feeling. Looks like yakiniku barbecue sauce、mm. for me. Yeah, for me, I feel like I'm about to eat hiyayako, <laughs> which is cold tofu with soy sauce. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Oishi. Mmm. Mm. It's sweet,、yeah. but it's, it's very good with this tofu. Yeah, suddenly it's no longer Japanese.、Mm. It's、yeah. no longer Japanese. It's no longer Japanese.、Mm. I feel like if we add some, sorry, I'm just doing all k i n d of things. I feel like if I add a little bit of olive oil to this、mm. and a little bit of daka, I, I think I'm, try, I'm learning how to use all these ingredients. I think, I think that'll elevate the whole thing. This balsamic、um, will match with cheese. For sure, for sure, I think so. Okay, try, try this. So, this is with some olive oil and some daka. Mmm. 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 We prepared hot vegetables. Okay, hot vegetables. Hot vegetables salad. Previously frozen. <laughs> frozen vegetables. <laughs> okay, so can we try the spice by itself first?、Okay. Wow.、Mm, immediately salty, and then I get like a bang of lemongrass. This is good. Lemongrass. Lemon yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah.、Mm. That's delicious. I wonder. I wonder Pepper, I, I'm not really sure what pepper berry is supposed to taste like, but I guess it's in there.、Mm, the lemon myrtle flavor. Is this lemon? <laughs> oh, it's lemon myrtle. Lemon myrtle. Okay, it's not、so. lemongrass. Sorry, it, it, it tasted like lemongrass. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So let's try it with some of the vegetables. Mm, mm-hmm. mm, mm. First of all, it adds、um, salt, which is necessary for these vegetables because they're pretty bland without it. But、mm. it's very lemongrassy flavor. Yeah, yeah. yeah.、Mm. And now I actually taste something else, which is maybe it's the pepper berry. I, now、mm. I taste、yeah. it. Lemongrass and some kind of pepper spice flavor. Yeah, I'm gonna try it with the、mm. carrot now. This is good too. Wow. You know, these、um, native. Flavors of Australia、mm. is very, very unique、mm. and also delicious. Like, I wish I knew about these before.、Mm. These are very good seasoning. I like it a lot. Mm. Mm. Okay, finally, we have、uh, one more spice before we go on to the jams. This is the lemon myrtle rainforest spice. Rainforest spice? Yeah. You know, and it says lemon myrtle is a beautiful rainforest tree. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't、oh. know that. So, this one it says you can use it for your favorite tea blend, but you can also use it for sprinkling on white rice. That's interesting. Super interesting. As a Japanese person, we're not used to sprinkling anything 
you know, lemony on top of rice. So that's super interesting. So first, let's try it on its own. Mm -hmm. This one's not salty. Ah, not salty, but lemon, lemon, lemon. Yeah, mm. that is so interesting. Mm. I feel like we need to add a little bit more to the rice. Okay, let's try it out. Oh my gosh, on rice, on the rice, it White looks like rice. fine crushed seaweed. It does, it does. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> It does add a nice flavor mm. and, it, and it makes the rice very aromatic, mm. I feel. Mm. I feel like maybe it's good for chaham, stuff fried rice. Mm. I like it actually. Mm. It's too. very different from how the Japanese people mm. eat rice. You know, it's not soy sauce, it's not umami richness, it's not nothing like that. It's more about the, the aroma, I think. And the subtle flavor of the lemon myrtle. It's lemon myrtle, right? Lemon yeah. myrtle. Yeah. I feel like this would be good on top of pilaf. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Pilaf. Mm -hmm. I think it matches with the tomato too. I think so, so too. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like if, if we add this to the rice again, which I am going to do right now, and add a little bit of salt, for example, the hibiscus salt, because it reminds us of uh, shiso, I think. That would be amazing. <laughs> you can tell we're playing around now. That's the way it should be. Oishine. <laughs> Oishine. That's good. That's mm. good. Actually, hibiscus salt works really well. Mm. I want rice. to make with this rice, rice bowl. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Me too. This is good. These are Australian native foods, and we have uh, guantong and rhubarb jam with mountain black pepper berries, which we will try first. And this has rhubarb as well as the mountain black pepper berry. All right, we're gonna try the jam on its own. There we go. Talk to most. Wow. Definitely. Something I've never had before. <laughs> it, berry. Like a berry, but it's unlike any berry I've had. Rhubarb. Uh, it has yeah. a little bit of uh, mixture of the rhubarb. Flavor. It does have an herbal mm. flavor. I'm gonna try it with the lavash. What shall I say? Mmm. 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 That's good. Mm. It also has a texture of like, like very soft persimmon for me. And Although it's berry, there's almost mm. no tartness. Mm. Like prune. Yeah, kind of like prune. Mm. Kind of like prune, but like a berry prune. Berry prune. Mm. Yeah. Blueberry and the prune. Yeah, it reminds me a little bit of blueberry too. <laughs> Next one is bush apple. Bush apple. It's interesting. Is it apple? It's a bush apple. Bush apple. <laughs> I don't bush know. apple. Maybe it looks like apple. Maybe. Okay, so let's try bush apple, oh. Australian apple simmered, simmered apples. Looks like apple jam. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm. flavor is a little bit apple jam. Delicious. This is mm. good apple jam. Mm. Good apple jam. This mm. one, a combination of apple mm. and strawberry. Tastes like mm. that. I think it's the taste of that bush apple. Definitely mm. doesn't taste like Fuji apple. It's different from Fuji <laughs> apple. <laughs> yeah, it's different mm. from mm. the apples that we're used to eating. It has some, I don't know, it has very little tartness. I like this one. It's delicious. All right, so th is this the last one? Okay, I think this is the last one. So this one is green ant marmalade infused with native green tree ants. Ant. Yeah, sorry. Marmalade infused with native green tree ants. Yes, ants. Now I know ants are full of proteins. I'm not necessarily a fan of ants, but however, but insect will save the world. Yes, but you know, even from the jar, you can see the ants in there. You can see the ants. Okay, we'll eat it. We'll eat it. I, 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 I can't eat locust, so and in Japan, yeah, uh, we eat. B, 
B B ah、uh, the 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 baby B、mm. baby bees.、Mm-hmm. This is also like that. Okay, right. So I'm gonna be brave. You know, I, I, I'm too scared to ski. I'm scared of roller coasters. I'm scared of haunted houses. So, you know, I should, you know, have the courage to eat ants. It's a type of food. Okay, I, I have a spoon Ooh, with a, 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 a whole ant in here. Oh, that's a big ant. These are ants. Yum. All right. I think I have a big ant. My, my ant is big. Mine is not so big. Do you mind if I go for a smaller ant? Never mind, I'm gonna go for the big ad. I'll be brave. Lemony. I love marmalade to begin、mm-hmm. with. I wonder what kind of marmalade, marmalade is this. Marmalade. I love it.、Mm. This、Taste、flavor good. is good. I don't even taste the ant. I don't know what ants taste like. I don't even feel the ant. I don't know、so、how the ant flavor as it、mm. is.、Mm. This one is not bad. This is good. This is good. I'm gonna try it on bread now.、Mm. Mmm, this marmalade is good. This marmalade is not so bitter,、mm. I, although I do like bitter marmalades. This is like mildly bitter,、mm. very citrusy.、Mm. Mm. That's delicious. Mm. 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 All right, so we have come to the end of this taste test. And I gotta say, first of all, I really enjoyed this. I Me too. I enjoyed it immensely.、Mm. Yeah. So,、um, impressions, what were your favorites? As、especially, I impress these seasonings. Me I、too. really love seasonings.、Mm-hmm. So,、mm-hmm. I want to use for variety of dishes. Yeah. Maybe stew or soup I want to cook tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah.、Um, I, I'd like to make fried rice with some of these、uh, seasonings.、Mm, fried I, rice is also good. Yeah, I、mm. want to add the, the lemon myrtle thing in my tea, the, the non salty one. I think that'll be great. And I, I really like to experiment with these. I, I want to look for Dhaka. I want to see if they sell Dhaka here in Tokyo. I'm pretty sure they sell it somewhere because this is too good to not be sold in Tokyo. In today's seasonings, I choose bush tomato seasoning. Okay, that was your favorite. Really? My favorite, my favorite spices were the salt bush Dhaka and the native bush Dhaka. Those two were my favorites. I cannot choose between those, so I gotta choose both of them. And my favorite jam. Was the Guangdong. The Guangdong, Guangdong, Guangdong is nice. Yeah, yeah that、mm-hmm. was my favorite. Although, I, I, I really don't mind the other two. Yeah. So, once again, thank you so much, Stephanie, for sending these to us. Stephanie, you're so, so kind. You keep sending us stuff to try. But as you can see, we're really, really enjoying it. And,、uh, you know, without you sending these to us, we would have never known. That this exists. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Really hope you enjoyed this one. As always, leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Which ones were your favorite? Did these look appetizing to you? Let us know. Thank you for watching. See you next delicious video. Bye bye. Sayonara.